Mikey Garcia decisions Adrian Broner after moving up in weight. New York Mikey Garcia, already a three-division world title holder and one of the best fighters in the world pound for pound, added nicely to his resume Saturday night. Garcia, a reigning lightweight title holder, moved up to junior welterweight and put on a masterful performance as he easily outboxed and outfought Adrian Broner to win a unanimous decision before a crowd of 12,084 at Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Broner, a former four-division world title holder, moved down in weight from welterweight for the fight but was a considerable underdog in a non title showdown between two of the top names in boxing that came together when neither could find a top oppo and to fight this summer in their own weight division. In the end, it was all Garcia, whose technical superiority was obvious. His punches were precise, crisp, and accurate with few that were wasted. Broner. He didn't throw much at all, rarely threw combinations and did not do much of anything unless shaking his head after getting hit as if to say, that didn't hurt. The judges all had it for Garcia, 117 to 111, 116 to 112 and 116 to 100 and ESPN.com had Garcia winning by shutout, 120 to 108. This is definitely one of my best performances ever, Garcia said. I think I controlled the fight in the early rounds and I kept the activity up. Broner is a great fighter who has great skills. I was the superior fighter tonight. The first couple of rounds were slow but then Garcia landed a hard left hand in the third round that had Cincinnati's Broner, who turned 28 on Friday, in a little trouble and looking to get away. But Garcia continued to stalk him and landed a few more shots. Broner shook his head as if to say he wasn't hurt, but he clearly felt the punches. Garcia. 37 to 0, 30 Kos, continued to work the body and stick his jab against a Broner who barely threw any punches. When he did throw shots they were one at a time and not nearly enough to do any damage. Thanks to everyone who came to see me lose and everyone who came to see me win, Broner said. I want to congratulate Mikey and his team. It was a good fight. At the end of the day, I come to fight. I come to win and I put my heart on the line. Broner's lack of activity was shown in the CompuBox punch statistics. While Garcia landed 244 of 783 punches, 31%, Broner connected with only 125 of 400 shots, 31%. Broner never threw more than 44 punches in round while Garcia averaged throwing 98 per round over the final three frames. It was the timing, Garcia said. I've always said I have very good timing. It is underestimated when you are outside the ring but once you get inside the ring with me, I'm a step ahead. We trained for 10 weeks. We had a great training camp and great sparring. We knew it was going to be a tough fight so we had to be in great shape. It was part of the strategy to be a little busier than the fights I have previously had. Yet while it was Garcia who was aggressive and came forward and threw and landed way more punches, Broner accused him of running. It was Tom and Jerry. I had to catch the mouse, Broner said. He never did or came close, which Broner trainer Mike Stafford acknowledged. Adrian followed Mikey around just a little bit too much, he said. Mikey did really well. Adrian should have gone to the body earlier. By the fifth round, Garcia, 29, of Moreno Valley, California, was in total control. He landed left-right combinations and Broner, 33-3, 24 Kos, mustered nothing in return but an occasional punch. With 30 seconds to go in the fifth round, Garcia snapped Broner's head straight back with a clean right hand. It was more of the same in the sixth round when Garcia continued to land combinations against an inactive Broner, who had no answers. With Garcia dominating, the crowd came to life in the eighth round and began to chant Mikey. 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 But while it was an outstanding performance from Garcia, the fight, which had high expectations, 
lacked excitement because of Broner's inactivity and ineffectiveness. Broner landed a good left hook late in the ninth round. But it did not seem to be nearly enough to win the round. 